When you write any kind of a document with the help of AI tools, this specific document will be highlighted as an AI written content in Turnitin report. Again, Turnitin provides you to different kind of AI detections and these AI detection will help you to make corrections in your document. In this video, we are going to know that, that how you can read AI detection report of Turnitin and can evaluate it. And on the basis of this report, you can make changes in your document. So when we look at this document, we can see 52% of AI detection in that specific document. And when we click on this AI report, Turnitin will direct us to another window in which we can see the details of this report and bifurcation of this AI detection. So Turnitin break down this report into two fragments. The first one is the blue area which shows us that this specific part of the document have been originally generated from AI tool and there is no manual changes have been made and been pasted in your specific document as such. While the other portion, which is a purple one, it tell us about those specific areas of your document that have been originally generated from AI tools or that have been rephrased with the help of AI tools, but you are unable to break the coding of AI tools on that specific sentence and they will also highlight it as AI written content. So when we click on this specific section, it will take us that area. And when we click on this specific section, we will go to the last larger portion, larger paragraph, which is being highlighted as a likely AI generated text that was likely revised using an AI paraphrase tool or a word spinner. And we can just work on these areas to rephrase it, to make it more human by using manual practices, or you can use any AI humanizing tool among them, AI humanizer, Hicks bypass, or stealthy dot AI are the prominent names. When you click on the blue area, again, it will take us to the that portion of the document which have been highlighted as a purely AI generated content and have not undergo any kind of a manual changes. There is another type of AI detection report which Turnitin provide us and that shows us a star percentage. When we open this type of a report, Turnitin brief us that this specific percentage of AI detection comes at a safe region and this is what Turnitin states about it. AI detection includes the possibility of false positive although some text in this submission is likely AI generated. Score below the 20% threshold are not surfaced because they have a higher likelihood of false positive. So if your document have AI detection less than 20%, Turnitin didn't detect us and your document is under safe region as we can see that there are no highlighted areas in our document and this document is safe to submit as Turnitin is considering it as a false positive report and there are chances of misconception or chances of misdetection of AI in your specific document. So I hope so this video is going to solve your issue of understanding the AI detection report and in which area of Turnitin you can see this AI detection and how you have to tackle it and how you have to make it a base to move forward to make a further correction in your document. If you found it useful, don't forget to share it with your research community. We'll see you in another video. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.